let's welcome back our friends and uh, fellow members of Island Ghost Investigations, Erica and Mike, for our new segment called Dead Time. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. What's up, folks? How are you? All right. Now we know you guys were out late last night. Uh, investigating, actually. Investigating. Yes. Yes. Um, and uh, is that up on Newsday.com yet? You got Newsday following you around? It should be up this afternoon. This cool. afternoon. Okay, well, for Dave and, Dave and I went on our very first official hunt with Island Ghost Investigations, and it was this huge 100-year-old house in Malvern. What a cool house. Where a single woman named Lana lives with her three kids. It has four levels, a big creepy basement, two levels of living area, and a big attic. Now, Lana is a collector of antiques, and that also includes old photo albums that date back to the late 1800s, and there are beautiful dolls all over the house. No that, way, man. Those things that, are scary. Porcelain. When the lights are off, they become scary. Yes. Porcelain dolls. Now, Absolutely. One, one of the antiques is an old pillar, and she brought that into the home, and immediately the family started on this run of terrible luck, and Island Ghost Investigations went there before we had gone there. And you, uh, one of your investigators immediately went to that pillar and said, this is the problem right here, right? Yes. And and she moved it outside in this run of luck. Uh, it got bad. I mean, run of bad luck. It sort of went away. Yeah. Now, um, despite the pillar being moved outside, the, there's still been reports of a little girl in this house, a man in a blue shirt, and an older woman. Mm -hmm. Now, when Dave and I got there with Island Ghost Investigations, Dave immediately ran into his biggest fear <laughs> before we even got in the house. <laughs> what was that, dolls? No, the biggest dog I've ever seen in my life. Oh, yes. Dave was what a, was that? It was a horse. saddle on that. When Dave was young, he was attacked by a pack of poodles. <laughs> and he, uh, he has this fear of dogs. This is real. Yeah, it is. And this dog was the biggest dog I ever saw. Well, it was a Great Dane, oh, so man. it was like a pony. Yeah, it really it was, like, was like a small pony. And it was walking around and growling. It made me very uncomfortable. You guys went outside to look at the pillar, and I wouldn't go outside. Yeah, he had his face pressed against the glass because he wouldn't go near the big dog. <laughs> and I heard you making fun of me, Erica. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on to you. I'm yeah, afraid to see the cow droppings that tall. And, you know, and, and speaking of that, and then Lana's first thing was, oh, the dog's harmless. It's just a little gassy. <laughs> <laughs> Like that dog's gassy? <laughs> All right, so, but seriously, once we started the investigation, we had quite a few personal experiences. Uh, why don't you guys start off uh, telling us, you know, what you might have Well, we split into two groups. It was, yeah. it was me, Glenn, and Mike, and then, Erica, you took uh, the girls. Did you guys have any?